Good morning. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer on this during on this Tuesday of the last week of Advent, December 20th. And also today is the eve of the winter solstice. Please uh, read more about the winter solstice at the end of this order of service. Please join me in prayer. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with psalms. For you are a great God. You are a great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours for you made it and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For you are our God and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Psalm 66, be joyful in the Lord, all you lands, sing the glory of God's name, sing the glory of God's praise, say to God, how awesome are your deeds, because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you, all the earth bows down before you, sings to you, sings out your name, come now and see the works of God, how wonderful God's actions toward all people, God turned the sea into dry lands, and that they went through the water on foot, and there we rejoiced in God. In might, God rules forever and keeps watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against God. Bless our God, you peoples, make the voice of praise to be heard. God holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You set heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads and went through fire and water but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what God has done for me. I cried out with my mouth and God's praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld steadfast love from me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples, the nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. On that day, the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that is left of his people from Assyria, from Egypt, from Petros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Harmon, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart. The hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim. But they shall swoop down on the backs of the Philistines in the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching wind and will split it into seven channels and make a way to cross on foot. So there shall be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that is left of his people as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Canticle 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. A reading 
from the Gospel of Luke. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord, but they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and both were getting on in years. Once when he was serving as priest before God and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people was praying outside. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your, pe for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink. Even before his birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah said to the angel, how will I know that this is so? For I am an old man and my wife is getting on in years. The angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept monitoring, motioning to them, and remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months, she remained in seclusion. She said, this is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and, looked, and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. The word of the Lord. Let's read together Canticle, The Cure for Sorrow. All throughout these months, as the shadows have lengthened, this blessing has been gathering itself, making ready, preparing for the night. It has practiced walking in the dark, traveling with its eyes closed, feeling its way by memory, by touch, by the pull of the moon, even as it wanes. So believe me when I tell you this blessing will reach you, even if you have not light enough to read it. It will find you even though you cannot see it coming. You will know the moment of its arriving by your release of the breath you have held so long, a loosening of the clenching in your hands, of the clutch around your heart, a thinning of the darkness that has drawn itself around you. This blessing does not mean to take the right away, but it knows its hidden roads, knows the resting spots along the path, knows what it means to travel in the company of a friend. So when the blessing comes, take its hand, get up, set out on the road you cannot see. This is the right when you can, this is the night when you can trust that any direction you go, you will be walking toward the dawn. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. 
govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O God of all seasons and senses, grant us the sense of your timing to submit gracefully and rejoice quietly in the turn of the seasons. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of endings, children growing, friends leaving, loved ones dying, grieving over, grudges over, blaming over, excuses over. O God, grant us a sense of your timing. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of beginnings, that such waitings and endings may be the starting place, a planting of seeds which bring to birth what is ready to be born, something right and just and different, a new song, a deeper relationship, a fuller love, and the fullness of your time. O oh God, grant us the sense of your timing. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now you're invited to add your own intercessions and thanksgivings. We remember to pray for those in our parish in need of healing, especially Tish, Marlene, Dan, Gail, and Dennis. And today we give thanks for the birthday of Janet Nash. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.